Bible says that there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one person who turns away from their sin and turns to God. And you know what? There were at least 15 or 20 boys and girls. There were at least 5 or 6 teenagers. There was at least 10 or 12 adults that just raised their hand and said, that's what I did tonight. So, that's amazing. But Jesus said this. Here's what he said. He said, if you're ashamed of me or my word in front of other people, I'll be ashamed of you in front of my Father in heaven. So, here's what that means. Believing in Him is a personal thing. That's what you just did, but it can never be a private thing. No such thing as a secret Christian. It doesn't exist. So, that's what I'm going to ask you to do, what I'm about to ask you to do. I'm going to count to three. It's going to be real quick. I'm going to ask you to come stand inside this rope with me. And boys and girls, I can't believe it. Every week my rope is buried at this point under safe castles. But you can still see my rope. I want to count to three. And whether you're a boy or girl, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult, I want you to come stand in this rope. That's going to be your testimony. That that's what you did tonight. You asked Jesus to forgive you. And you told him that you want him to be your Lord and you want to live for him. I'm going to ask you to come. Unafraid and unashamed. Adults don't not come because these kids are coming. Jesus said, let the kids come to me, but he wants the adults and the teens to come to him too. Come on. One, two, three. Come on, right now. Let's cheer. Let's cheer. That's what you did. Come on. There were some adults. Have your hands up. Come on. Come in here with me. Come on. Come on. Thank you for coming. You were a long way away. But I smiled when I saw your hand go up. Because that's the greatest thing that can happen. Anybody else? All right. I want everybody to look at me. Just a second. I'm going to send you right over there to meet my friends. Somebody hold up one of them blue books and wave it at me over there. I've got a gift for you. It's a New Testament of the Bible. In the front of it, there's about 40 little devotions in the front of it. I want you to read one of those every day. Even if you have a Bible at home, I want you to get that one. Because if you'll read one of those little devotions a day, and then if you'll turn to John, the New Testament, you may or may not know this, but the New Testament begins with Matthew, Mark, and Luke before you get to John. But I want you to turn to John. You read Matthew, Mark, and Luke a little bit later, all right? But read one chapter of John a day. And that's the way that I can help you. Because some of you, I might see you tonight. I might not ever see you again until we get to heaven. But I want to tell you something. If you'll put God's Word in your heart, you'll get to know Him. And I want to pray for you before you go over there. Now, the boys and the girls are going to ask you a question. They're going to say, did you ask God to do something for you tonight? And if you say, yeah, they're going to say, what did you ask Him to do? Because we want to make sure you understand. All right? We want to make sure you understand. Because if you ask Jesus to forgive you and you told him you want to live for him the rest of your life, you're going to know that you did that. All right? Let's pray. Let's pray. God, thank you. Thank you for all these boys and girls, moms and dads, teenagers. God, thank you for what you did in their heart tonight. And I pray for each one of them that as they open up this Bible and as they begin to read, Holy Spirit, I ask you to cause your word to come alive in their heart. It'll be just like you're speaking to them because you are. Pray that you would help them. Help them find new friends that will help them get to know you more. Help them to live for you. God, I thank you for what you did in their hearts tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Everybody shout amen. Please, please, please go there and get that gift that I want to give you. Go there and get it. Now, if you went to the store to buy it, it costs $8, so it's not like a cheap gift, but you can't buy it. I want you to have it. It's a gift. It's my gift to you. Please go get it. Head right over that way. And then, we're going to start doing some limbo, but don't worry, we're starting with old people first. 20 and up. We're starting with old people. We're starting with old people in limbo. You're going to have plenty of time to get my gift and get back over here. Don't forget to bring my 